Hey guys, Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric here. I've got a video for you today. Um, I know a couple of you OSHA guys and inspectors follow me, so hopefully I don't uh, get any emails from you. <laughs> but I want to show you the difference, if this will work, uh, between a arc fault breaker and a non-arc fault. And um, so this is the job that we showed you, the pigtail copper splicing last week. We did the whole service change. Um, this is great. Go ahead and come this way, babe. This is a wonderful splice box. Look at all this stuff. Uh, you see this little nail through the floor right here because they put in the tongue and groove floor. Look at that. Missed it by a centimeter. I got another one back up here, the same thing. Um, so yeah, when you guys are making up stuff, you, they, they can't, they can't, it cannot be, but only center of the TGI from this way, that way. Okay, so um, in this case, it's a two by eight, but anyway, so here, this is hot. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. Um, Dave, will you hit the light? Probably be a better reaction if I turn it off. Okay, and uh, just look away. See that? Nothing, barely. Watch this guy. For our non arc fault. Or even if it is an arc fault, but it can have a load, and that kind of load can be large, but ready? Woo! Did I get you? That is right now aluminum pick, uh, that's aluminum pigtail. This is copper and aluminum. And what the guy was doing was squirting deox under these caps and look at that it's dried out see it's all dried out you can't do that so I'm like walking around with a paper towel wiping off all of his old deox um, in these situations when the wires are short clean it off use the appropriate twist caps But we did that also so we can label this box so we know what the heck's going on since this is a 20 years ago they remodeled the kitchen. So this is a proper way to do it. And this stuff was just hanging out. So we'll just go ahead and junction it I think she told me circuit 23 and whatever the other one was might be a little close to fill on that one right but try to keep your caps in the up position if you can so that way they don't drain out it's kind of probably one of the reasons why I don't really care for those caps as much is because over time if it heats especially in an attic that'll drain out of the cap Think of it like a coffee cup. And then, you know, when you're downstairs like that, just slap some staples where you got to do that. But at least if there's something to trace, you've got to, you labeled it. So in a year or two or 10 years, if they call you back for some more work, you know what's going on there. But I wanted to show you the prime example of this is aluminum copper, that's aluminum copper mixed and put together. Now, I have had houses where there's drywall and you can't get to these boxes. And that is a real big no-no. Um, I've turned down a lot of jobs, especially kitchen remodels, where they want all the splices to go up because they had um, soffits above the cabinets, and they want all those cabinets to go soffits to go away, and then the cabinets to go 42 inches high. But then we've got all the wires that are already running through those soffits. And they're like, well, just can't you just shove those wires up, or can't you just splice and we'll drywall over it? You can never do that because if you imagine that being spliced and then drywalled over, and then that goes bad like it did. Well, you're never going to find it. In fact, it's just going to catch fire. So, again, just label it. It's a J-Box, the debasement. They haven't finished. They've been here 40 years. And I don't. they said they're never going to finish it, so that's up to them. But the next guy, yeah, he's going to have to figure out how to junction that. Sometimes when I have one in the basement, um, the way I hide it is I'll put a smoke detector up there if they go in drywall. But in this case, if they did finish this basement, we would have to pull new circuits to it anyways and figure out maybe how to reduce this or move it or something. I don't know. 
Anyways, guys, thanks. Hopefully, I'll help you out. Bye.